today, Peppa and her friends are going to the sweet shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'd like to buy everything in the sweet shop, please. Here is my coin. Peppa and her friends each have one coin to buy a sweet with. Here is my coin too. And mine. And mine. Wow, what a lot of money. But I'm afraid it's not enough to buy everything in the shop. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> One coin is perfect for trying my new sweet-making machines, though. Ooh. Just choose a machine, pop your coin in the slot and push the big red button. Mmm, strawberry laces! Nay! But strawberries are fruits, not sweets! My sweets are made with delicious real fruit. Much tastier and much healthier! Yummy strawberries! They look like hair! <laughs> You're right! I've got a strawberry ponytail! <laughs> <laughs> my turn! My turn! Emily Elephant has found a rainbow lollipop machine. For this machine, you have to push the buttons to choose your favourite fruity flavours. Hmm, yellow banana! Ooh, you love red apples! And pink raspberries! And blue blueberries! And green apples! <laughs> <laughs> you like all the flavours! <laughs> so fruity! <laughs> Look! It's a big binning ball! <laughs> That's a candy floss machine! Why don't you pop your coin in and give it a go? Oh. Ooh, it tastes like coconut! <laughs> it looks just like you, Susie! And now it looks even more like you! <laughs> <gasps> what is that? Only one way to find out! But I thought this was a sweetie machine, not a money machine. <gasps> Can I use this to buy some real sweeties? You don't need to. That coin is a sweetie, Pepper. It's a chocolate coin. Chocolate! Hooray! Peppa loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. Everyone loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. Ah! They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green, so... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie! And this one? It's... No! 
lots of colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting juice. Ah, yum! This is orange Aha. juice. This is apple juice. Ah. Ah. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Look, Mummy! A yo-yo! Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. Whoa! Dinosaur! George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur! Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now, Peppa's token makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Peppa hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please! Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh! <laughs> Oh dear, I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to worry, <gasps> Mummy Pig. I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope. Nope. Screwdriver! <gasps> ah, thank you, George. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Whoops! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <laughs> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. Eh? <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine, and George really loves dinosaurs. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, 
you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please! Bop! 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 <laughs> More token! Does this mean we can get a really big prize, Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. <laughs> was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. <laughs> Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize! Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course! With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade and Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Yummy tasty food. Yummy tasty Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very special yeah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> And what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! Ooh. The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Peppa. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Pepper has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah. Finish. Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Peppa is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mmm. 
Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped oh. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Hooray! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make Pepper and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> the funhouse tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! Whee! And it's very windy. <laughs> <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Yay! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. <sighs> it is a very hot day. So Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr. Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Oh. Ooh. What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now we add ice cream, cherries and whipped cream. Oh. George oh. likes adding the ice cream. Careful, don't squish the oh. banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Peppa really likes mm. adding whipped cream. Whoops. <laughs> 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 Don't forget the cherry on top. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? A Knockanory? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Mm. 
ho, ho. Not that type of Sunday. You can eat them any time. Ah. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue, and cream. <laughs> Pepper and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay. Then decorate with wafers, colorful sprinkles, and sauce. Here you are, ah. madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow <laughs> one. Rainbow. Pepper and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for banana, <laughs> nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pepper and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. Ah. Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla. My favourite. <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George... Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today at Playgroup, Madame Gazelle has a special surprise. Again. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm 
going to be a tree. Squeak! I'm going to be a wizard tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, children. Pumpkins aren't only used to celebrate Halloween. They're also used to celebrate a special holiday in America called Thanksgiving. Can I still be a wizard tree for Thanksgiving? I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Something else people do on Thanksgiving is make a cornucopia. Cornucopia what? That sounds silly. Cornucopia? It's a horn-shaped basket that holds fruits and vegetables that grow in the autumn. We're going to oh. make one of our own. <laughs> Thank you! Fresh fruits oh. and vegetables are certainly things I'm grateful for. One story even says cornucopias can magically refill themselves. Ooh, can this refill itself? Sadly not. The playgroup <laughs> is making their own Thanksgiving cornucopia by collecting things that they're thankful for. I'm thankful for acorns and pumpkins. <laughs> I'm going to add this chocolate bar from my lunchbox. I love chocolate bars. Oh, maybe just one bite. <gasps> Ooh, the wrapper is the best part anyway. <laughs> <gasps> that was close. You've all made a beautiful cornucopia. It's home time, and Peppa is showing Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig what she learned today. This is a cornucopia. It's part of Thanksgiving and helps remind us to be thankful for all the yummy food we get to eat. Lovely indeed. Oh. But your cornucopia is reminding my tummy how hungry it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, the Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Oh dear, Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh, hi Peppa, <laughs> hi George. Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. With a one and two and one, two, three, four. Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time. Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up <laughs> in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it. Well done, Peppa. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry. Happens all the time. That's okay. I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Oh, you found us! Pop, 
Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. <laughs> hop, hop, hopping bubbles, hopping bubbles, hopping away. Hop, hop, hopping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert and everyone really loves pop pop popping bubbles. A super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. Okay. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. <laughs> to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa. Hmm. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Try, Pedro. Okay, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. Hooray! Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Ah, almost got you. Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata and get the treats inside. Because today, Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra uh -huh. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Pom-pom! Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! I will help you. Oh. <laughs> mm. This is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. Next, 
We're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole. Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados. And you eat it with carrots or <gasps> cucumber or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mm, guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Pepper has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Pepper is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying... Today, Pepper and her family have come to London to watch... Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. Looks like spaghetti. So we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first and then take the red train. Yes. Well done, Pepper. Off we go. First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train oh. is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> We're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through. Make way for the star, thank you. <laughs> no autographs today. Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah. Whoa. It's an ice cream! Can we 
make other pancake pictures? Yes, we can. We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Peppa pours flour into the bowl. Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What, what is it? it? Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> What are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Colossal! Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. Today, Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. Hmm. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese! Oh! And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. 
Cheese! <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody! One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown-up? Dinosaur! <gasps> George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, uh, hang all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Silly George, dinosaurs don't go to the dentist, <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. <laughs> but you can have a sticker anyway. I think you'd make a very good dentist. Dinosaur! <laughs> And you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, the park. <laughs> Stop! You forgot us. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. Today, Peppa's playgroup is having a very special lesson. Today we are learning about the 4th of July, American Independence Day. What's Independence Day? Independence Day is a day when Americans <laughs> celebrate all the things they love about their country. And we have a very special visitor. Happy Independence Day, everyone! Oh, <laughs> Mr. Bull has just been on holiday in America and has agreed to share some of the things he loved there with us. Let's start with an American party called a cookout. We can cook together using my new barbecue. I'll be the Grill Master. Ooh. Mr. Bull's barbecue is very big. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bull. But we will have our barbecue later and outside. Righto. 
first, we're going to dress up. Peppa and her friends are dressing up in the colours of the American flag. Red, white and blue. <laughs> the grill master and his barbecue are fired up and ready to go. Is it time yet? No, Mr Bull. We must decorate first. Oh, of course. Back to the grill I go. Way! Next, everyone is hanging red, white and blue decorations. <laughs> now, Peppa and her friends are making an American flag. How many stars does an American flag have? Um, lots and lots. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's lots and lots of stars, children. <laughs> The American flag has 50 stars, one for every state, you know. Now, is it time for the barbecue yet? Hmm. Yes, it's time. Hooray! Mr Bull is very excited to use his barbecue. Hope y'all ready for some authentic American barbecue. Oh, oh, oh. But the barbecue has burned all the food. <gasps> What can we eat now? Don't you worry, I'm not just a grill master. I'm also a delicious all-American apple pie master. I love apple pie. It's the most American food there is, especially with fireworks. Yeah! Everyone loves fireworks and apple pie, especially on Independence Day. Peppa and her family have bought lots of food at the supermarket. And now they have very rumbly tummies. <laughs> What's for dinner? My tummy's making lots of noises. Tonight, we're making tacos. Yay! What's a taco? And how do you make them? <laughs> it's a delicious food from Mexico. And the best way to make tacos is all together. <laughs> Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are washing vegetables for their tacos. Let's make sure the vegetables are nice and clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. Splish. Splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies, please. Splash, 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 splash. Now, Peppa and Mummy Pig are nice and clean, too. Now the vegetables are clean, we can carefully slice some onions. Here you go, Daddy. <laughs> What's wrong, Daddy? Don't you like onions? Oh, don't worry, Peppa. The juice from the onion sometimes makes your eyes water. I just need something to cover my eyes. I know. Pepper knows a perfect way to protect their eyes from the onions. These are perfect, Pepper. Ah, onions again, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll make some guacamole. Hooray! I love guacamole. Then you can mash the avocado, Peppa. Peppa likes <laughs> mashing the avocado. It's very fun and messy. Oops! <laughs> Perhaps try a bit more gently, Peppa? Perfect! Now we mix in other ingredients. And add a very special squeeze of lime. Squeeze! <laughs> All right, George. You can add the special squeeze. Oh, it's a good job I'm wearing my safety goggles. <laughs> now all the ingredients are ready, it's time to put the tacos together. This is the best bit. Take your tortilla, like this. And add your favourite ingredients. Peppa likes her taco with lots of guacamole. George likes his taco empty. Mummy and Daddy Pig like their tacos with everything. Mm. Everyone thinks the tacos are very tasty. <gasps> but they've all dropped their filling. Hooray! Now we can put them together again. 
Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh. We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First, you dip the paper in the glue, and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon, they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children! Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make Ours red, Peppa. <gasps> Ours can be blue. blue. Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. <laughs> but Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <laughs> <gasps> now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. Phew! <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, mm. Perfect. And now, I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back! Madame Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red. Ours is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. We made too much lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes. But everyone really loves making colourful muddy puddles. It is dinner time. But dinner has been burned. Oh, dear. Do you think we can still eat it? <laughs> I think... We should treat ourselves to a takeaway. Hooray! We choose what kind of food we like and it gets delivered to our house. There's Chinese takeaway, Indian takeaway or sushi. Can we have this one, please? Peppa wants to order Chinese takeaway. Let's have this and this. And don't forget the special surprise. Ah. Peppa and her family have ordered lots of delicious food. <laughs> what happens now? Well, first the restaurant has to cook the food and then they'll deliver it. Oh, but how do they know where we live? I gave them our address when we ordered the takeaway. But how will it get here? Miss Rabbit will bring it on her bike. Oh, look! She's nearly here. Let's go and find Yay! her. <laughs> huh? Pepper and George have gone to the wrong door. Oh. Oh. It's here! It's here. <laughs> Here's your takeaway, Pepper. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Got to dash. Lots of food to deliver. <laughs> Rice. Noodles. Vegetable rolls. And a special Ooh. surprise for afterwards. Yay! Pepper and George don't know what the special <laughs> surprise is. Mmm, 
I love rice. Mm. 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 And I love my spicy noodles. They're my favourite. Ooh, they might be my favourite too. Can I try some? Yes, but just try a tiny bit. Mmm, I love noodles. Oh, but they are a bit spicy. Spicy ow, noodles ow, ow, ow. are not Pepper's favourite. <laughs> Here, try a vegetable spring roll. Mmm, <laughs> vegetable spring rolls are my favourite. <laughs> Peppa and her family have finished their Chinese takeaway. Are you ready for the special surprise? Hooray! These are called fortune cookies. They have a special message inside that brings you good luck. Ooh. This good luck tastes amazing. Peppa loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Everyone loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Peppa and her playgroup are doing a fun run to raise money for a new school bell. Is everybody ready to run? Ready. OK. On your marks, get set, go! Oh dear, it has started to rain and nobody wants to run in the rain. Should we do the race another day when it's not so cloudy and rainy? Except for Peppa. But the rain will make the fun run even more fun. There'll be so many oh. muddy puddles. Yay! All right, that means on your marks again, get set again, Again. <laughs> the rain has made a small puddle on the running track. But Rebecca Rabbit is very good at jumping. I did it! Oh. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Rebecca. <laughs> That's okay, Peppa. Oh. Oh. Come along, you two. Lots of race to go. <laughs> The wind is making it hard for Susie and Mummy Sheep to climb the hill. <laughs> the wind is too strong and the hill is too slippery. Aha! Ah, I know! Emily Elephant is very good at pulling things with her trunk. The way down looks very muddy. Yep, so it's fun to slide down. And Whee! Pepper is very good at sliding in the mud. Peppa and Daddy Pig have arrived at the ah. big trees. Oh. Everyone must crawl <laughs> under the low branches to finish the race. <laughs> oh, oh, that does look fun. <laughs> Everyone has made it to the finish line. We have raised enough money to fix the school bell. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, oh. Mr. Bull will fix it tomorrow. Hooray! Did you have fun, Daddy? Daddy? Everyone loves running in the rain. Come on, Peppa. We're going again. But Daddy Pig really <laughs> loves running in the rain. <laughs> 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 Handball! That's against the rules. Oops. Why are you blowing a whistle, Miss Rabbit? And what do those cards mean? I'm a referee. I blow the whistle to get attention. If someone makes a mistake, I give them a yellow card. And if someone's being a bit silly, I give them a red card. Ooh, can I be the referee? Of course. 
Now, Pepper is the referee. What's wrong, Pepper? You kicked the ball too fast. Mandy missed it. But that's not against the rules. I'm the referee now, Daddy, so I say it is. Oh, dear. Peppa likes being the referee and she really likes blowing the whistle. <gasps> Your shoelace is undone. <gasps> You're not smiling. <gasps> oh. You nearly kicked that lovely flower. Pepper is finding all sorts of reasons to blow the whistle. Oh! <gasps> You're running too fast. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're swinging too high. Oh! Woof, woof. Your ice cream is too melty. Watch out! Oof! Can we have a go now? I want to kick. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Miss Rabbit are not following the rules. <gasps> Referee! This duck is too sweet. Referee Peppa! <laughs> Peppa is having so much fun, she's Ooh. forgotten all about the football match. Oops. Uh -huh. uh. <gasps> oh. Daddy, that's not how you play football. You're being a bit silly. I'm going to have to give you a red card. <laughs> Sorry, Peppa. I suppose we got a bit carried away. That's OK, Daddy. But I think it's your turn to referee now. <laughs> Ooh. And that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Peppa is taking a big oh. runner. But the sand oh. is very slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well done, show. George. I'll <laughs> just have to keep trying. <laughs> Pepper is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. My ice cream. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But oh. nothing seems to be working. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. Whoa. Oh, dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing. But there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. 
George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> I think I will have hmm that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. Oh, it's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! Yay! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. Oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, have you decided what you're giving away to the charity shop? Yes, all of this. Whoa. <laughs> Today, Peppa is giving some of her toys and clothes to a charity shop. This is called donating. <gasps> Away we go. We. <laughs> charity shops sell donated items Aww. and use the money to help people. Great! Do you want to help me sell them? Yes, please. I'll help by shopping. <laughs> Peppa is excited for people to buy her old things. <gasps> oh. But no one is buying them. No one is buying any of the things I donated, Miss Rabbit. Not to worry. We just need to let people know they're available to buy, <laughs> like this. Do you like <gasps> toy rabbits, Police Officer Panda? Yes. Did you want to buy this one? <gasps> I do. <gasps> Thank you. Why don't you try, Peppa? <gasps> <gasps> I'm a bit cold, <gasps> Mummy. Would you like to buy this jumper, Susie? It's very warm and woolly and cosy. <laughs> yes, please. I love wool. Bonjour, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking for a gift for somebody <gasps> who loves sports. Hmm. I know. Hmm. <gasps> 
<laughs> Cat! Ooh, ooh, this is perfect! Thank you! Oh. Pepper wants to sell her <laughs> toy bus next, but there's no one left to sell to. There's no one left in the shop, Miss Rabbit, except <gasps> Mummy. Let's put it in the window display so everyone outside can see it. Yay! Hello there. Look at this toy bus. Would you like to buy it? No one can hear Pepper from outside the shop. <gasps> the big real bus looks just like Pepper's little toy bus. <gasps> we have the same bus. Maybe it'll sell tomorrow, Peppa. <gasps> Yay! Excuse me, is that toy bus for sale? <gasps> Why, yes it is. Would you like to buy it? I would <laughs> love to buy it. I love all buses, big and small. Hooray! Peppa loves the charity shop. Everyone <gasps> loves the charity shop. <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh dear, the car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry, I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Peppa like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Oh dear, I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh, <gasps> oh dear. How long will it take? It will take as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. <gasps> but motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. <laughs> I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this Ooh. bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. Ah. It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Pepper's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Grandpa George, where are you? <laughs> Today, Pepper is playing in the garden with George and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> Found you! Peppa has found George and Grandpa Pig in a bush. <laughs> it's so cosy in here. Yes, reminds me of the garden den I had as a boy. Can we make a garden den, Grandpa? 
Yes, indeed. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing special gardening gloves and boots oh. to make the garden den. <laughs> First, we need to dig a hole with these spades and get lots of sticks and twigs. Pepper loves digging the hole with Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Um, well done, Pepper. And George loves <laughs> gathering sticks. <laughs> I think that's enough sticks. Well done, George. <laughs> now Grandpa Pig is hammering the sticks into the hole. Stand back, everyone. <clears throat> <Ooh>. <clears throat> Finally, Grandpa Pig makes a roof out of sticks. And Pepper and George cover the roof in lots of leaves. Why do we need the leaves, Grandpa? They keep the den nice and warm. Look safe and sound. <gasps> well done. Hooray! <laughs> You'll need this before we go in, Pepper. Grandpa Pig has given Pepper a special backpack. <laughs> Everyone is very happy with their new garden den. Um, Grandpa, what do we do in the garden den? My favourite thing to do in a den is have a <gasps> picnic. The special backpack is full of fruit from the garden. Pepper and George love having a picnic in the garden den. Mm. Pepper, oh. George, where are you? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Everyone loves having a picnic in the garden den. Today, Pepper and George are going for a picnic with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Nearly there! <laughs> it's Pepper's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you okay, Pepper? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic, but they won't fit. Hmm, do you need all of your toys? Uh. I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Pepper? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches, too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Pepper, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Pepper? Um, we need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Got the blanket. Ah. Do we need anything else, Pepper? Mm. We need cups for our orange juice. Well done, Pepper. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Peppa. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Peppa has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. 
Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it. Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the Botanical Garden. <laughs> One's tall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These smell lovely. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, and that one is on oh. Daddy's head. <laughs> <laughs> Step right up to the very oh. tricky hedge maze. Enter if you dare. What's this, Miss Rabbit? This is a very tricky hedge maze. It's a long, windy path with lots of twisty turns. You have to find the big fountain oh. in the middle. Peppa and George like the sound of the very <laughs> tricky maze. I'm a bit of an expert at mazes. I almost never get lost. <laughs> Good luck. Let's go. Hooray! Peppa and her family are making their way through the maze. It is very windy. Everyone thinks it is very fun indeed. There's nowhere to go. Oh dear. We'll have to go back and try another way, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig? <gasps> Over here, Mummy Pig. George and I must have taken a wrong turn. Uh-oh. Perhaps we should meet at the fountain in the middle. Good idea. <laughs> Race you! <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh. Mummy. More tall flowers. And little ones. <laughs> Peppa and Mummy Pig are having lots of fun in the maze, but Daddy and George are a bit lost. Hmm? <sighs> Not to worry, George. We'll make it as long as we don't give up. Oh, hello, huh? George. The fountain is that way, by the big leafy flowers. Hooray! Off we go! Everyone has arrived at the centre of the maze. Hooray! Well done. You finished the first <gasps> bit of the maze very quickly. What's the second bit? Finding your way out, of course. <laughs> Peppa and her family loved going into the very tricky hedge maze. And they're really going to love finding their way out again, too. Today, Mummy Pig is going for a relaxing day at the spa. <laughs> oh! Sorry, Mummy Pig. I've got to close early today. I've got the sniffles. Oh, I was really looking forward to my spa day. Why don't we make a spa at home? Oh, that's a great idea, Peppa. Peppa is very good at having ideas. Hello, Mrs. Mummy. Welcome to the spa. Oh! <laughs> Peppa has turned the living room into a very wow. special spa. First, we are going to, um... What happens at the spa, Mummy? Well, we normally start with a nice cup of lemon water. I can do that. <laughs> I'll get you some lemony water, <laughs> Mrs. Mummy. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. This is the lemoniest water I've ever seen. What's next? Next, I'd like to have a foot bath. Yay! Hey! What's a foot bath? It's a very small bath just for your feet. OK, time for your very small bath just for your feet, Mrs Mummy. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are making their very own foot bath. This ought to do the trick. Ah, that's so relaxing. <gasps> Peppa has turned the foot bath into a regular bath. Yeah. Here are the boats you ordered, Miss Pepper. 
You have to have bubbles and toys in the bath. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> I'll suggest this to Miss Rabbit. What's next, Mummy? Next, it's time for a massage. Uh, um... Here, lie down on the sofa and I'll show you how it works. Peppa finds the massage very tickly. Your turn, Mummy. Ooh, <laughs> it's <laughs> very different to my normal massage. It's a special Peppa massage. Choo-choo! <laughs> Now, the last thing I do at the spa is have a mud mask, which is... A mask made of mud! Yes, a special spa mud that's good for your skin. I don't think we have any special spa mud here, though. I've got an idea. Pepper is very, <laughs> very good at having ideas. We don't need spa mud when we've got muddy puzzles! <laughs> <laughs> They're just like muddy puddle face masks. <laughs> Peppa loves a spa day, especially when it involves jumping in muddy puddles. <gasps> Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea! <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa! <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no! I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long! Oh! What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily, so I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know! Come with me, Peppa! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk! <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk! <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look! <gasps> no, Peppa! Yuck! Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. <sighs> the snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, okay. <gasps> I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Yay! Oh, dear. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh, 
<laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Yum. Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh. Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa mm. thinks cravings are delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. Ahem. Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <laughs> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> oh, 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 a little here. And a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like Fox? foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've caught something. Today, Peppa is fishing with George and Grandpa Pig. Well done, Peppa. You've caught your very first ever um, um boot. Boots don't live in the water. <laughs> That's right, Pepper. Someone must have lost it. <gasps> George has caught something on his fishing rod. <laughs> this must be a really big fish. Everyone is helping George reel in what he has caught. <laughs> oh. George has caught a boot too. Well done, George. Hmm, another boot. How strange. Oh, you found my two boots. Are these your boots, Mr Bull? Yes, they must have fallen off my boat. <laughs> <laughs> can we look closer at some fish now, Grandpa? Let's see if we can find some fish in the shallows. Pepper is excited to find some fish in the shallow water. <laughs> Careful! You don't want to splash around too much or you'll scare the fish away. How do we use the net to see fish, Grandpa? You just pull the net through the water gently, like this. Fishies! They're so shiny! <laughs> Can I try? Of course you can. <laughs> Through the water gently. There's a blue one. And one with green spots. What are those, Grandpa? That's a school of minnows, Pepper. <laughs> Silly Grandpa. Fish don't go to school. <laughs> no, a group of fish like these is called a school. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Mr. Bull's boot. Again? Oh, you found my boot. It must have fallen in the water again. Thank you, Pepper. Mr. Bull, 
You must be more careful about dropping things in the water that shouldn't be there. Yes. We don't want to scare the fishies away. I promise to be more careful. Whoa! Starting now! Peppa <laughs> loves learning about fish with George and Grandpa Pig. And she really likes looking closely at all the minnows. And not the boots. Come on! The fireworks are about to start. It's bonfire night. And Peppa is very excited. She thinks bonfires are lovely to look at. Wow! Hi, Peppa. You're just in time. The fireworks will begin in five... Four, three, two, one! The fireworks are going so high! Whoa! Pepper thinks fireworks are very noisy. The fireworks are really loud, Grandpa! Oh dear! Why don't we go further back? They'll be quieter if they're far away. We're going to the back, where the fireworks won't be so loud. Good idea. We'll come too. Excuse me, please. Us again. Oh, sorry. <gasps> Is that better, Peppa? Um, yes. Thank you, Danny. Great. Now we all can enjoy how nice the fireworks look. There's so many colours. Red and blue. And green. Oh, and yellow. Peppa is having lots of fun Yay! watching the fireworks. And now it's time for the big fireworks. Hold on to your hats, everyone. Bigger? Does that mean louder? <laughs> oh, my! What should we do? We can't go any further back. We'll have to go home. But I want to see the fireworks. I just don't want to hear them. Well, I know! Ah! Sometimes my granddad's garage is really loud too. So I use these. Headphones? Yes! Ooh. They cover your ears and make loud sounds more quiet. Do you want to try them? <gasps> wow! That's much better! Thank you, Danny! <laughs> no need to shout, Peppa. We can't hear the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. <laughs> Mummy Pig is dropping Peppa off at Playgroup. But Mummy Pig is also looking after baby Alexander. Oh, my. Mind if I clean up Alexander's smelly nappy before I go, Madam Gazelle? I insist. <laughs> oh, can we help clean him up? Please! <laughs> OK. Can you pass me the nappy cream from the changing bag <gasps> and a fresh nappy? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes helping yeah. Mummy Pig change baby Alexander's nappy. <laughs> there, fresh as a daisy. Can baby Alexander play with us? Please! Well, I don't see why not. Hooray! Peppa is showing baby Alexander all her favourite bits of the playgroup. These are the books. <gasps> Baby Alexander likes all the books. This is the whole world. <laughs> and he enjoys spinning the globe. <laughs> and this is Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, little Alexander. Oh! 
but he likes Madame Gazelle most of all. <laughs> Perhaps it is time for some painting. <laughs> Everyone is painting pictures of themselves, called ah. self-portraits. I'm Peppa Paint. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. I'm Freddy. <laughs> I'm Susie. <laughs> and I'm Gerald. <laughs> well done, baby Alexander. It looks like a tasty apple. Baby <gasps> Alexander's painting has reminded <laughs> Peppa that it's time for lunch. It's Baby Alexander's mm. lunchtime, too. He's eating special food for babies. Here comes the train, Alexander. Choo-choo! Is Baby Alexander's food nice, Mummy? He thinks so. Oh. oh, my. Mind if I clean Alexander up again before we head off? I insist. Everyone loves having Baby Alexander at playgroup, and Baby Alexander loves visiting. Today, Peppa is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. Oh, <laughs> bless you, Peppa. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called pollen. Bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Thank you for helping the flowers, <laughs> little bee. <laughs> Careful, Pepper. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small. So it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes. So you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. Oh. Peppa isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean, buzz buzz! Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Pepper loves honey sandwiches, and Pepper loves bees for. Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, 
you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. Hmm. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Hooray! Hello, I'm King Peppa. It's another day at Playgroup, and everyone is pretending Peppa is the king. I'm the king, and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Pepper is enjoying being king of the playgroup. She really likes all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs. King. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Pepper? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Oh. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Mm. Why, Mr. Highness? Because hopping is fun. King Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop, hop. <laughs> King Pedro, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Now everyone has to be loud. <laughs> now quiet. <laughs> now loud. Everyone is enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> oh. Oh. Now George mm. is the king. Mm. Hooray! King George says that everyone should dinosaur. and her playgroup are playing lots of games today. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like jelly. Correct. Hmm. Aha! Feels like a banana. Correct again. <laughs> oh! Mm. Tastes like banana too. <laughs> 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 Your go, Pedro. But I don't want to touch something smushy. It'll be okay. Our smushy things were delicious. Oh, it's cold and made of metal. Is it a key? It is. Well done, Pedro. Hooray! It's a key to a special mystery box. You need to find two more to unlock the prize. Ooh! How do we find more, Madam Gazelle? In our next game, of course. These are piñatas. You have to find the exciting surprises inside. How do we do that? You break them open with these soft foam bats. <laughs> It's full of snow. <laughs> Mine too. <gasps> ah! Oh. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> I did it. The second key. Only one more to go. I love Pass a parcel. Me too. Me too. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I won. This is a very long song. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, the music stopped. <laughs> Hooray! Now Peppa and her friends have found all three keys, it's time to find out their prize. <laughs> wow! Christmas biscuits! <gasps> Yum! You did it, Peppa! You all did it together, Pedro. Time to get ready for playgroup, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello, Santa. Back already? Today is Peppa's first day back at playgroup after the Christmas holidays. No, Mummy, it's me. But Peppa <laughs> is not ready for Christmas to be over. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's a wonderful outfit, but I don't think it's right for playgroup. But I like dressing up as Santa. I don't want Christmas to be over. It's so much fun. I know, but playgroup can be lots of fun too. You'd better go and pack your backpack. Good morning, Pepper. That's a very full backpack you've got there. <laughs> and quite heavy too. <sighs> Phew! What have you got in there? Just some tinsel to make the playgroup sparkly. I see. A toy I got from Santa. Oh, my! Some candy cane. Delicious! Oh, and some Brussels sprouts. Hmm. Maybe you should take some things that are a bit more useful for playgroup. Like what? Maybe some crayons for colouring in, some yummy fruit, and a book to read. Oh, Santa brought me that book. 
That's a good idea. <laughs> Time to go, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, can we ride the sled to playgroup? I love going fast. Whee! <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. There isn't any snow. Even the snowman is almost gone. I think we'll have to take the car today, Peppa. Oh, OK. I know your sad Christmas is over, but I promise playgroup can be just as fun. Everyone at playgroup is very happy to see Peppa this morning. Welcome back, Peppa. Did you have a fun Christmas break? I... <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Do you want to play dress up with me? Oh, yes. I love dressing up. <laughs> or we could read a book. I got a new book from Santa. <gasps> Let's race each other on our scooters. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Playgroup is just as fun as Christmas. <laughs> Peppa really loves Christmas, but she also 